drop a like and sub in the next five seconds and this will be your Fortnite account. If you don't, this will be your account. The Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3 has officially been leaked. From everything that will be arriving inside of the new season's battle pass, which you guys may have already seen, along with some hidden details that you guys definitely missed out on, from the arrival of all brand new weapons and also some brand new insane gameplay features arriving inside of the brand new season. Obviously, I haven't uploaded in a few weeks, so we do obviously have the arrival of Spider-Man Miles Morales finally inside of Fortnite, considering we've been going on about that for over a year now. So if any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift, all you have to do is drop a like on this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on, and drop a comment down below with your Epic Games ID. And if you happen to be picking up anything inside of the item shop for yourself, do consider using my support creator code YTORA as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag ad. By the time of making this video, we are literally under a week away from the release of the brand new season of Fortnite, which is honestly pretty crazy considering we do have tons of leaks about it. We obviously had this image leaked to us which obviously shows us some of the upcoming battle pass skins that we will be seeing inside of season 3 with the arrival of Optimus Prime as the brand new collaboration skin that you will be able to get inside of the battle pass which is definitely pretty cool as this is for the arrival of the brand new Transformers movie which means that we could even be seeing the arrival of some other Transformers characters inside of the item shop over the course of season 3 such as maybe even Bumblebee or even Megatron I definitely think would be pretty cool skins to see make their way into the game over the course of season 3. What's also pretty cool about this is the fact that Optimus Prime is actually said to be included in the base battle pass and will not be the secret skin. Meaning if you do buy all of your tiers on day 1 of the release of the new season, you should be able to unlock the brand new Optimus Prime outfit instantly on your account. That's definitely pretty cool, be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for that, considering I do think this is actually going to be a pretty sick skin from the image we have of it. Obviously from the overall image we did have leaked, it does look like next season is going to have a massive jungle biome as we've obviously had that leaked us for a while now. I definitely think it's going to be pretty cool considering we're supposed to be seeing the arrival of a brand new volcano POI that will be on the brand new season 3 map. Which explains to why we obviously have all of these different cracks showing up across the island along with the earthquakes which is very similar to what we did see all the way back in chapter 1 season 7 just before we did get the release of chapter 1 season 8 when we did have a volcano in that season as well. But we do also have another skin on this actual image which does seem to be some sort of adventure outfit which does kind of remind me of Indiana Jones which I'm guessing will be pretty customizable considering it does look pretty basic and definitely something that you can kind of see just showing up inside of the item shop. But we will have to wait and see exactly what the edit styles for this outfit do look like, considering I do hope that it is progressive and it has some pretty cool edit styles to go alongside with it. And if you do take a look in his hand, you can actually see a brand new revolver which we've never actually seen in the game before. Which definitely looks like it's going to be pretty fun to use, as I'm guessing it looks like it's going to be pretty overpowered. And also from this image, we can actually see that it looks like raptors will also be making a return next season and they will be rideable this time. Which definitely does look like it's going to be super fun, considering obviously the raptors were in the game in the past and they were really annoying to come across in the middle of a match. This time around, you should be able to just hop on their back and then be able to use them as a mountain game, which I definitely think is going to be pretty cool and could even lead to some sort of other collaboration with potentially even being Jurassic Park. And one of the brand new outfits that you can actually see is a brand new mechanic outfit, which we did actually have leaked to us a while ago, which you can actually see up on screen right here. And here is a version that you can actually see that was on an Epic Games survey that was actually leaked quite a while ago. If you do actually take a look in her hand, you can actually see what's going to be the brand new kinetic item that we will be getting next season, which looks like it's going to be a kinetic boomerang. Just like the way we've obviously had the shockwave hammer, and obviously here inside of season 2, we did actually have the kinetic blade. Next season is looking to have its very own kinetic item as well, which I definitely do think looks pretty cool. And finally, from this image, we can see we do have a brand new Meowsles outfit, which looks to be wearing a jungle outfit, which is definitely pretty cool if you don't own the original Meowsles from chapter 2, season 2. Here's a better look at what that skin should look like in game, which I definitely do think looks pretty clean. But obviously, that is only four of the outfits that we currently know about, and there's obviously going to be even more inside of the new season's battle pass which should be left for a surprise we do have an idea that we should actually be seeing at least one more collaboration skin arrive inside of next season's battle pass as well be sure to let me know down in the comments out of any collaboration that is not yet in Fortnite, what collaboration would you personally like to see in the game, as I definitely do think there's quite a few that would be pretty cool to see. Also, it looks like the secret skin for Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3 is actually going to be related to the storyline, thank god, considering we don't really know exactly what's going on so far. Ever since Chapter 4 started, everything with the storyline seems to be put on hold and we're kind of getting useless information about things that don't really matter too much. But we do know that we should be getting the release of a brand new Marvel Fortnite comic book over the next few months which will give us some more storyline information of what exactly has been going on since the chapter 4 end event. 
Some of the members of the Seven are still being held captive by the Lost Reality as they return to Chrome at the very start of Chapter 3 Season 4. We still have yet to see exactly what is going on with the Paradigm and Agent Jones considering we still know that they are running around and we do know that Agent Jones is officially going to be joining the Seven really soon. So I'm guessing most likely will even appear in the final season of Chapter 4 as it's now been confirmed that we should be getting the release of Fortnite Chapter 5 by November 30th. Seeing as how next season is obviously going to be happening over the summer months, it's safe to say we're going to be getting an all new summer event, which we obviously see every single year. You will be able to complete some all brand new challenges in game to be able to get some pretty cool free rewards, as last year's rewards were definitely pretty cool and it looks like this time around for this summer event, we'll be able to get our hands on the Underwriter outfit, which obviously was an NPC that was in last year's summer event, which for some reason was not even obtainable inside of the item shop, and it looks like this summer event is going to be very similar to what we did just see with the Star Wars event. There will be a free battle pass where you will be able to complete that over the course of a few weeks in order to actually be able to get all of the different rewards. The final reward obviously being the skin itself, which is definitely pretty cool. We most likely will even include a bonus track where you will be able to get some bonus rewards by obviously paying roughly 1000 V-Bucks. And I'm personally a big fan of this system considering I do think that this little mini battle pass system is definitely the way to go when it does come to free rewards. But inside of next season it also looks like we're going to be seeing the arrival of a massive feature which obviously has been worked on for quite a while now which is actually going to be the first person POV. This mode was actually supposed to release here in season 2 but was actually delayed as it looks like they're working on it even more inside of the game files. Such as being able to actually add weapon attachments to your weapons and also be able to change which side of the shoulder your gun is actually Actually sitting on, which I definitely think is a nice touch, meaning you will be able to switch the gun from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. And it does look like it's going to be super in depth, just like Call of Duty, considering they have their own gunsmith system, which looks like it's going to be very similar to what we will see when we do get the addition of the brand new weapon attachment system. And it looks like we're also going to be seeing the unvaulting of the helicopters yet again inside of season 3, which I definitely am pretty excited for. Because I don't think we've actually had the helicopters on the Fortnite map ever since chapter 2, which is definitely going to be pretty cool as it looks like they're actually going to have some modifications done to them this time. Hypex did post this saying helicopters are getting a launcher that shoots every Every 2 seconds it deals 35 damage and 450 builds damage. That definitely does sound like it's going to be pretty annoying in the middle of a match if you obviously just see a random player come along with a helicopter and just start blasting you if you're in the middle of a build fight. But still should be pretty fun nonetheless considering we're obviously in that summer month when everything kind of gets a bit chaotic in Fortnite, especially with the arrival of all of the brand new weapons. As I said, we are only 6 days away from the release of the new season at the time of recording this video, so be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3. But unfortunately, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. If you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and thanks for watching.